Bogart Rippy here at the 3699 Ranch, Wednesday morning, the 10th of July. My Good Friday potatoes are done. I took delivery the week of the 18th of March, so the onions were in the ground, the transplants for about 100 days, you know, in that neighborhood with the potatoes. And then the poinsettias are, are, are over here on the end, digging a few potatoes. I'll just show you right now. I washed these. I I came out here last night. I think these are my gold and the russet and the red. The, I, I remember they, they, they're they sea potatoes that was mostly one kind. And I don't think I had much red, but they're not red after you cook them. I went over to get a watermelon last night. And I was thinking, man, you know, I need some potato salad because I got all my garlic. I hammered it with uh, fresh garden garlic and sweet onion and my potatoes right out of the ground. Made up a nice batch of potato salad and got me a nice watermelon from the store. Uh, the peppers are coming along nicely. I'm going to till this up. It was a week ago today, the third, that I planted the pumpkins and they're up. The pumpkins are up. Barely. Can you see it? That's about my spacing there. I only need one good plant actually. I've, I've, in my mind, I've, I want five and then I want three. I'm not sure. And the reason why I never grew um, sunflower seeds, I didn't know which way they would point or they move. So we're finding out about that because they're not going to be facing my house. Uh, you know, no one's going to see them. They're, 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 they're facing the back of the property. Beautiful, beautiful um, flowers over here. Pretty happy with the flowers. I thought it'd be fun to dig some potatoes. The peppers are slow to come. Uh, one of them is down here changing color. This one I've been waiting forever, which it only has one lobe, so it's not that sexy of one. But it will not change color for nothing. I don't want to grow green ones. This pepperoncini over here. I got one turned orange. Little pepperoncini. This these have heat because the thinner leaves. So the pumpkin plants, I'll till this all up and let them grow out over that soil. The corn straightened up nicely. The poinsettias, that's uh, I won't think about those too much, but let's let's see what we got over here real quick. Just I'm gonna wait and dig them as I eat them. Uh, I I have enough potato salad to last a while. Some of my soil in here is sandy. Now, I can really tell where it was. They'll grow up on top of the ground almost. Here's these little ones that the nodules like. Make little potatoes. I wonder if they grow bigger on the end. These are about the best potatoes that I've grown. Never had to water anything. There you go. Oh wow, I'll give you a closer look even in here I had like three trenches remember and I never even healed them there's one of them little jobbers there's those Yukon gold weren't even that deep I would say there's a pile of potatoes right there Oh wow, there's some deep down in there. My fork hit them. They're as deep as the fork. Almost have to double dig them. They grew down in there. some french fries there's some beautiful potatoes in here you can see those white ones how big they were yeah I could definitely probably grab first place style or something like that if I would enter them
but yeah it was kind of a no fuss kind of a deal there and uh the best best uh, potatoes you've ever had in your life right out of the ground like that and it goes good with the uh for potato salad your onion garlic even the pepper and some cheese in there cheesy potato salad for lunch guys with my sandwich my pulled pork thanks for watching my videos everyone Bozo Rupi out here digging some potatoes real quick on july the 10th hottest day of the year